Commissioner for the Department of Conservation and Recreation, and I am so excited to be here with all of you today uh, to kick off DCR's Summer Nights program here at Ryan Play Playground. Let's hear it. Come on. Come on. I want to start by recognizing some of the folks that are here with us today, uh, including Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll, <laughs> Mayor Michelle Wu, <laughs> State Senator Liz Miranda, <laughs> State Representative Chris Worrell. Uh, we have the wife of uh, State Representative Russell Holmes, Sharif Holmes. We're also joined by uh, City Council President Ruzi Lujain. I also want to thank the DCR staff, uh, everyone who does incredible work uh, all across the agency uh, to make sure that we're providing a high quality of life for residents all, all across the Commonwealth. So if you work for DCR, please just raise your hand. I want to uh, give you my acknowledgement and my appreciation. I do want to recognize uh, three folks who are really instrumental to making the Summer Nights program a success. And it has been an incredible success for our agency and for the Commonwealth over the last 10 years. Uh, and this program has been led by three incredible people. Uh, Julie Martin, who is our Director of Visitor Service, Visitor Engagement and Programs. Uh, Hillary Treat, who is our Manager of Statewide Initiatives and Programs and Paul Clifford, our statewide initiative uh, program coordinator. Let's hear it for our fantastic trio. Uh, I also want to recognize all of our partners uh, who are here with us today. If you're a partner, please raise your hand. Uh, thank you so much. We are now up to 100 partners with the Summer Nights program. It really is an incredible uh, program, and, and it doesn't work without uh, the, the incredible partnership that we have. Uh, today is not only about kicking off Summer Nights, uh, but we're also celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Summer Nights program and the newly completed and renovated uh, Ryan Wading Pool. Uh, that has been a long time coming for the community. This new pool is a $2 million investment uh, for the Commonwealth that doubled the size of the neighborhood's wading pool uh, installed new benches, uh, spray features, uh, shade pavilions, and rubber surfacing that will help cool down uh, the space for uh, the community during uh, summer heat. With all of our summers getting hotter, as we know, uh, it is so incredibly important for our families and children to have access to pools, uh, wading pools, splash decks, uh, waterfronts all across the Commonwealth to, to cool down. Uh, and this project wouldn't have been possible without, number one, the neighborhood's passion uh, for this space and our work with the delegation. And so the, the agency, DCR, works so closely with the state delegation, with the community, uh, to make sure that we were meeting the needs of the people that live here. And you know, at DCR, we are so committed uh, to working with communities to ensure that they have access to great outdoor spaces because we, now, we know how important fresh air uh, and the outdoors are to people's health and well-being uh, and their overall quality of life. And so the Summer Nights program is an incredible program uh, that allows DCR to partner with organizations all across the Commonwealth to offer free uh, educational and recreational activities for thousands of teens and young adults uh, during the months of July and August. It is one of the most rewarding programs at DCR, uh, and it's exciting because we see the impact that it has, the direct impact it has on young people um, all across the Commonwealth. We're bringing young people uh, together in safe spaces and providing them with opportunities to learn from each other, uh, engage in fun activities uh, like basketball, Zumba, swimming, volleyball, painting, tennis, uh, you name it, it's offered during the uh, during the Summer Nights program. And uh, special thanks to Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll uh, for their support of DCR because we've been able to expand this program once again. And this year, its 10th anniversary is the biggest year. We have 100 organizations. Uh, we're hosting programs at 125 locations in 28 cities all across the Commonwealth. Uh, and it's really incredible, yes. 
So thank you, Lieutenant Governor, for your support. And thank you to the delegation for their support. Um, this will allow us to have the, the biggest impact uh, that we can across, uh, across the Commonwealth in young people's lives. Uh, and this year, we've also expanded to seven new communities uh, with partners now providing programming to young people in Norwood, uh, Everett, Revere, Pittsfield, Somerville, uh, Chicopee, and East Hampton, uh, in addition to a number of other communities all throughout the Commonwealth. Uh, here at Ryan Playground, uh, Youth in Crisis, Immigrant Family Services, and Mass Audubon are our three partners that are running programming uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, these programs include basketball, dance, games, and nature explore exploration. Um, I know that there are folks from each of these organizations with us. I just want to please raise your hand. I just want to show my appreciation for the incredible work, the incredible partnership that we have with you here on this space. So thank you. The, the expansion of Summer Nights uh, once again demonstrates the uh, Healy Administration's commitment to prioritizing the health and safety of young people. Um, this is how we build the next generation of leaders. And the folks that all of you are working with every day over the summer, you're building uh, the next generation of leadership. So thank you, uh, personally thank you, but as a, as a, as a partner, and as an organization, th thank you for the incredible work that you do. And it is now, thank uh, it's now my uh, pleasure to introduce uh, one half of the administration's dynamic duo, uh, Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll. Let's hear it for Commissioner Arrigo as the mayor, as Mayor Wu and I know, once a mayor, always a mayor, and he's doing an amazing job leading DCR, making sure that we're paying special attention to the amazing green spaces we have throughout the Commonwealth. Really thrilled to be here today. Just listen for a minute. Do you hear all the sounds from that wading pool? Like, doesn't that make your heart smile? Those are the sorts of investments that we're making, not only helping keep people safe, young people in particular safe, teaching them life skills like swimming, but also ensuring that we've got thriving youth, joy. That's what happens in spaces like this all across the Commonwealth. And that's why it's great to be with you, Brian, and the DCR team who work so hard to make sure our state's amazing recreational spaces, and there's a broad range of them, from parks like this, to hiking, to camping, you name it. And we're taking full advantage of all of those this summer. I wanna make sure I also recognize our Under Secretary of Environmental Justice, Maria Bellin Power, who is also here. Building an inclusive environment as part of this program is also is also particularly important. And I know we had the other half of the Brothers Worrell, the City Councilor Worrell also <laughs> got here, and so grateful that you're joined, joining us here in Mattapan. So excited to be here to celebrate Summer Nights. As the Commissioner mentioned, 10 years. Last year we broke a record with 84 organizations participating across uh, the entire Commonwealth. This year we broke that record with over 100, 2.6 million dollars. We think we're gonna serve 20,000 youth. And it's not all about basketball, although the Governor and I are a little bit biased <laughs> about basketball. We've got great programs in music, in the arts, in STEM programming, so many led by local organizations who know their young adults, who partner with them when school is in. And so this is an opportunity for us to celebrate both those young adults, making sure they've got healthy, safe environments, building youth leadership skills, learning new things about yourself as you, as you, as you grow up in this Commonwealth, but also ensuring that we're celebrating our partners, our community partners who figure out ways to put 10 pounds of flour in an eight pound bag every single day. Little resources coming together to make sure youth have quality experiences where they live in their hometowns. So I, I really wanna commend you for helping us take advantage of what summer is for. Joy, fun, learning, exploration. That's what these programs will do. Led by the commissioner, along with the team who we mentioned, Julie, Hillary, and Paul, we wanted to make sure we got resources out to partner organizations who know their neighborhoods, near their students, and know what they need. So we're gonna to continue to invest in programs like this so we can hear the, the joyful sound of, of young adults taking on new exploration, new activities, and ensuring that they're safe and healthy. And why that is so helpful is not only for those young adults, but for our neighborhoods and for our cities and towns. And I'm so pleased that we're joined here today by uh, the mayor doing a great job for the city of Boston, ensuring that youth have those, those opportunities to thrive, building on this work and partner with a great mayor. Mayor Wu, great to have you here. Would love to invite you up. Good morning, everyone. Um, I know 
if you like me are feeling the sun kind of Ooh. flare on and on and then behind a cloud you want us to go faster so i'm going to try to keep it short and just um really really start with incredible gratitude for the partnership that we have with this amazing administration at the state level. Uh, Governor Healy, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, um, Commissioner Arrigo, Undersecretary Belen Power, and all of the amazing folks who work at the state level, thank you, thank you so much for making sure that each and every community across the Commonwealth has the resources to thrive and to support their families. It means it's, it's the whole world uh, that we can partner together and work on issues big and small. This one is a very incredi uh, incredibly important issue to work on, and um, I want to just double back down on what was mentioned about the waiting pool. Thanks to the elected officials who are standing up here and represented up here, uh, but also I just want to give a special shout out to State Rep. Randy Fluker Oakley as well for her advocacy. When a question came up about what the future of that spot would be, it quickly became clear that there was going to be no conversation about anything except for expanding it, making it bigger, creating more opportunity, more resources, and it is just a testament again to this administration at the state level in DCR that they listened and found a way to make it happen, so thank you so much. Um, I want to thank the members of my team who are here as well. We are joined by, uh, I think I saw Chief of Human Services, Jose Masso, uh, Ryan Woods, our Parks Commissioner. Um, our Chief of Climate, Brian Sweat, is in the house as well, and uh, many, many others who are also supporting the work that we're doing to complement this at the city level. Our goal every day is to make Boston a home for everyone, and that means not just having affordable, healthy housing to go to sleep at night, but safe streets, active and exciting opportunities in your community so that every park is a home, every community center is a home, every library is a home, and the work that we can do here in not just maintaining these spaces, but filling them up, adding the programming, and putting the resources in there goes a long, long way. That wouldn't be possible without the more than 100 partners uh, that are helping make this happen over this summer. In our city, every single park is gonna have some kind of programming, and because of uh, the resources and the partnership through the Summer Nights programming, we're thrilled to be able to expand this. So thank you to all of the partners who are, are here today. These programs aren't just investments in our young people and teens and young adults. They're investments in working parents and families and in all the ways that our communities benefit when every generation is safe, engaged, and learning the skills to build healthy, happy lives. Summer nights and all the summer programming happening across the city and across all cities in the Commonwealth mean that we are making lifetime memories for our young people and for their families. And we're also providing a little bit of a break for those moms and dads and caregivers uh, for, who are still working hard all, all year round to make sure that they're supporting their families. And thanks to Boston Harbor Now, uh, every DCR Summer Nights participant and their families will also receive a free ferry pass to the Harbor Islands as well. So we wanna continue expanding what's possible. The impact of these investments is, it just comes back to us in, in spades. And so again, I wanna thank everyone here from our state leaders, our elected officials, our city officials, and all of our community members for making Boston the safest, healthiest, most joyful home for all of our residents this summer and beyond. Thank you. Welcome to Mattapan. I didn't hear enough. Welcome to Mattapan. Uh, I'm going to be short, not just because it's hot, it's because I want a burger from the Pin Project. Um, and I'm really hungry this morning. But um, I'm State Senator Liz Miranda. I represent the neighborhoods of Hyde Park uh, to the south end. And I work in partnership with all these great people that are behind me. But they really are not behind me most days. They're usually beside me. Um, Ten years ago, I sat where you guys are standing. I was a youth worker in Roxbury. And I was on the board with my friends of School for More. And this program got launched where, with this simple idea, could we uh, do programs in state and city parks in non-traditional hours, um, in non-traditional spaces to provide something that both the lieutenant governor and the mayor said, every kid in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts deserves to live, play, work in not only a safe and healthy community, but a community that has opportunity for them to be innovative, creative, and explore new things. And so I'm just happy that now I'm on this side. And Commissioner, you've been an amazing partner since day one. Not only do we, did we invest $2 million here, but we have a new CAS Center 
uh, and pool in Roxbury, which we welcome everyone after the Labor Day, right, Labor Day? You know, construction be late sometimes. But after Labor Day, uh, a new recreational center for many of the program. I see Franklin Park Tennis here. So our young people can not only explore the things that they've been exploring, but they also get to try new things like pickleball and other sports and activities. So thank you for coming today. Thank you to the Healy Driscoll administration. Uh, for providing more resources and growing the program. Ten years ago, it was a couple dozen of us in neighborhoods in Boston. Now to see that Methuen, Lynn, Brockton, and I know I'm forgetting some people, traveled this morning to say thank you because there's kids living in every one of the 351 cities and towns we have in Massachusetts. So please enjoy today and enjoy the summer. Hi everyone, I'm City Council President Ruth Louisiane. I'm very, very happy to be here. I got a text this morning saying, you better show up, you have to be here. This is really important to me because this was my childhood park, so I'm gonna go on record and say this is my favorite park in the entire city of Boston. Uh, grew up down the street. This waiting pool is more than just a waiting pool, it's an experience for people who can't travel, who don't have weekends to go away. This is where we went. We came to this waiting pool, we played basketball at this court. So investments in our public spaces mean so much. This park means so much to me and my family. To see so many, I see big time, I see so many people here. I was telling big time, you know, that I'm not new to this. This is my park, this is where we grew up. Um, I see originations here. I just thank you, thank you to the commissioner for all of your work, to the mayor, to the lieutenant governor, to all of my colleagues in government because investments in our public spaces are so important. So it's so important that we continue to invest in our public goods. I'm gonna be here at the waiting pool with my cousins and my nieces this summer, so I look forward to seeing all of you. Okay. I think uh, we're gonna do a photo op real quick. So if you're a, uh, a partner of ours in the Summer Nights program, we're going to do a, a quick photo, uh, and then we're going to have a, uh, a dance uh, exhi exhi exhibition uh, take place. So we'll do a quick photo uh, with our partners. So if you're a partner, come on up.